Good Vochra Boisai. Ah, Lili Nishmasi Mimirosi Ruspus Mordechai. Welcome to all the guests. Shalom Aleichem. What's your name? Irish Schwartz. Irish Schwartz. And your children? Where are you from? Boca. Boca. <laughs> oh. You're going to be there by the Simbay Zershim? You're going to be in Miami January 25th? January 25th. Yeah, Vada, Who's that guy next to you? Nephew, Shalom Aleichem, nephew. There's somebody here, but I don't want to introduce him because I can't even say his name. Shalom Aleichem, what's your name? Yankel Bellefeld. 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 Bellefeld, something like that. Okay. Schlafrak, you're off the hook now. From now. <laughs> Bellefeld. Yuvaldi. Shalom Aleichem, all the guests. I, if I miss, well, what's your name, Tali? Ezra Freed. Ezra Freed, I could say that one. From where? Ah, Brooklyn, now in our area. How long ago? Three months. Three months. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And you're like from all over the world, no? You live in London, Danish, Swede, yeah. Switzerland, yeah. Akol. He picked up a little bit of his name in each country. He went Belefeld. All right, I'd like to give a big shout out to my brother-in-law, Simcha Folda, for getting me to give Dafyoimi a try. He told me there's a modern guy, you hear this? There's a modern guy who thinks I might like, I'm a modern guy now. On one hand, I'm a rabbi going a godel, a going a godel, a modern guy. Listen, if you come learn Torah, I'm Hasidish also, I'm everything, whatever you want, as long as you come. He told me there's a modern guy who he thinks I might like, and to only try YouTube shit for 10, 15 minutes, and if you don't like it, what do you lose? Over six months later, I've not looked back. I've kept with MDY, and it felt great to meet you at the London Seam, having started Daf Yoimi. The boy side, here's another one. After over 30 years without learning any Gemara at all. After 30 years. Please share this idea. Let's chus refuah shleimah for my sister, Estabas Braina, Sara, and my father, Ben Yamin Ben Micha. I like this idea a lot, Rabbi Yisai. I realized a few years ago how much time I lose. I lost Sunday through Friday when folding away my tefillin and my talis. So instead of allowing my mind to drift into the workday or simply to zone out, I started saying one of my favorite tehillim. The one from Suda Shlishis, Mizmul Adav Hashem L'Royi I usually manage at least three times before I finish putting my tefillin in my bag and then I add a dinner alarm when folding my talis. For many of us who don't use this time, I would like to build up possibly thousands of tehillim across the years ahead. This idea could help bring Yeshua's. You can pick up your own tehillim or tefillah, tefillah's dead space, and know that every extra letter or word counts. Yours truly, Daniel, Frowein, London, England. Yeshakoyach. Over here, Mr. Jonathan Stern from London also, learning and joining the daf with his granddaughters, Toby and Esti Levy. Levy. Mati Helfgat. I decided that my son, Baruch Ben Chava, would definitely enjoy the shir. I attached a picture of the daf on. I've asked the nurses to turn it on for him daily. With Hashem's help, he'll, make, he'll wake up. He's over eight months in some sort of... And I noticed on the picture over here, the video that he's showing is exactly of a person in a hospital learning the shir. Interesting. I hope with Hashem's help to wake up and tell me good morning, Rabbi Yisai. He will have the zchia to be listening to your shir. Yisrael Shalitsky says, this is my brother Shaya, learning the daf on the way to Yisrael with my nephew, which my nephew sent me all the best. It's all about the daf. I thought it's all about the yoimi. He thinks it's all about the daf. Machlaikis. <laughs> Friday night, when we happened to bump into each other, I told you at the Kotel that on Zoom I can only watch it in fastest speed. For your, favor, for your information, because I started watching this shit on the fastest speed, I also started watching other videos on fast speed. I realized there's not enough time in the day to get everything accomplished, and if I can watch this shit on fast speed, the more, so, so, too, secular studies. If not, it's a bazillion. Aha. He's saying that if he's watching the Torah on fast speed, so he has to watch secular studies also on fast speed, otherwise it's a bazillion. My point that I'm getting into it is that at the shir, I told you, I felt excitement and gdush in the ear, and in the base marriage, I really enjoyed it in real time and didn't feel like it was slow or needed to speed up. I need to visit more often. So for anyone coming to Eretz Yisrael, I really recommend coming to America's Daf Yomi, not as a tourist stop, but for the uplifting experience. Experience. I'm sorry to inform you that it wasn't just about you when I was there. One person gave me a seat. Another person offered me coffee. A few came over after diving to schmooze. I was given psicha. I thank everyone, the share and the share that helps a lot of chizik. Please thank everyone on my behalf. Hope to keep in touch. I would really like the picture we took. Moshe A. Shkoyach. The boy side, very, very interesting news. The satellite location, we found a new, a new home for it. Great, a great location. Right by the Waldorf. Here's the front door of the Waldorf. Ten feet in front, across the street, 
right, right by the parking of the Waldorf, there's a door and there's a shul there. So right there, tomorrow morning, we're starting there. Here it is. What's the, what's the address? If you want to put in your ways, put in the Waldorf. And there's five parking spots, free, up to 8 o'clock, right in front. Three, Ben Shimon, right across the Waldorf Astoria. Shachar's at 8 o'clock, and they'll have fresh coffee, and uh, Benny is going to be there to make sure it goes. You know who's there? Yishai, Sunray, is, is part of our shir. He's the guy that took everybody to, to Kiristir, 10 of his friends to Kiristir, to make them join the shir. He's the guy in that show. Perfect location. Huh? Much is that? Okay. Fine. Rabbi Isai, I have an interesting Shaila here for today's sugyo. It's a very, very easy daf. We're talking about different foods. You make a nether about one food, it includes another food. So here's, yeah, we're going to get there in a second. But I always forget to give, to give the Shiloh, so I put the Shilohs before the sponsors. There's an interesting food, one type of food. Could the Olam guess which it is, what it is? If I say I make a nether that I won't eat this food, I could eat that food. <laughs> they said kutach. I don't know why, but no, that's not the answer. According, it's according to one cheetah. I don't think we're passing like the cheetah. No, we don't passing like the cheetah. What? But, so you're saying anything that's uh, okay, you're going to technical now. I hear. No, okay, not with that trick. Huh? It's, I know. It's, it is. It's a little sour. Fine, we'll see. It's just for the trick question. If a guy makes a nether, he's not going to drink oil. The, the Rav asks him, Where were you when you made the nether? Were you in America? Were you in Eritrea? Where were you? Why does he ask him that question? If a person makes a nether, they won't eat a certain vegetable. The Rav asks him, when do you make the nether? What was the, what was the date that you made the nether? Why does he ask him that? Also, Negei Elamaisa. And finally, are you allowed to bring vegetables from America, from England, into Eretz Yisrael? Mechaz doesn't let. Why not? Mechaz said, no, not in Shemitah. All seven years. All right. The Koilo is sponsored by Mr. Anonymous, Rabbi Anonymous from Lakewood. <laughs> the Masech is sponsored by the Locks. The month is sponsored by the Chari Moshe, the Lishmas of Tzal Moshe. The Parnas Ha. I just saw this. I'm, I'm looking at this for the first time. Parnas Yoim, Balta Acher. Is that supposed to be like a hint for tonight? I don't like it. I, the, two words, Balta Acher. Maybe it's a joke. I don't know what it is. And the second sponsor is in honor of my Rebbe, Rabbi David Amon Shlito, and Yeshivat Noam Atari Rishalayim. Okay? The honoring his Rebbe. And the sponsor for the art, the first month of art of Yoshi, sponsored by Anonymous from Lakewood, Zchos, for his nieces, Shiduchim. A boy said, we started a brand new Mishnah. It's a brand new Sechta, actually. Nidorm Nafnu Gimel Omer Alf. Hanoi there, minat tomorrow. This Mishnah, the official Mishnah sponsor, that we should be all have the schos to never give up, stay positive, and keep going forward. Hanoi there, minat tomorrow, muter bedvash. Tomorrow, what happened? Ah, Magister, Shalom Aleichem Magister. It didn't grow and it didn't shrink. It's the same size. You gotta serve some food, Rabbi. I see the tables are empty over there, that's why. Some, some lack of, some, <laughs> you, you're full, but you got to give to other people. Shkoyach. <laughs> Free pizza. Oh, there's some more people. He wants food. Oh, oh it's more. It's more than we see. I, can't, I get it. Okay, give out it. The only thing, the only thing I have today is here. Tomorrow, if you have dates, you say, I'm not going to eat dates. What's halacha? Is this mutter or not? So this is Silan. It comes from dates completely. It's like it says 100%. Yeah, 100% dates. This and this are two different items. You say dates, you mean dates. You don't mean Hayoitzimina dates, the actual honey that comes out of dates. So you motor. Mr. If a person says, I won't eat Sitvonius, which are grapes. 
that will never ripen. They're very sour. Mutter bechoymetz sitvaniyos. You let it drink. It's winter wine vinegar. Comes right out of these grapes. The only thing you do with them basically is make vinegar. Since it's already sour, I guess it, it just fits right in. So one, again, it's the same, basically the same idea, right? Tamarim does not include the dvash of tamarim. And sitvani is these type of grapes does not include when you squeeze and you make vinegar. If you would say, Roimer, kol shashem tilatoi, kruya olov, if the name of what comes out, the wine, you call it winter wine, or you call it dvash tmarim. So you have, you're talking about this. This is, this is the tolda, right? Tolatoi. This is what comes out of the date. Thank you. But since you're using the word date, Shem Tilat Kriya Olav Venoider Menu, and you make a nether from the original, from the date, Asr, Asr by Yoite Menu. So therefore, if you make a, a nether on the original, the source, so you Asr and what you squeeze out of the source. The Chachamim Matirim. Chachamim say the source, the, the source is Asr, obviously, because you said the source, but what comes out of the source is Mutter. Isn't that exactly what we said in the beginning of the Mishnah? Hanoidim in atmarim, mutter b'dvash, yilad in dvash. V'chachamim atirim. It's the same exact thing, l'chayra. Now the Gemara says, no, it's not the same thing. There's one afkemina, and we'll see in a second. Now, one problem that we have over here is, if you re- remember the sugh of the Milky Way. You have milk and whey. Because you're using the word milk together with whey, so whey is aser. Yeah? Everybody agrees it's also because you're using the word milk. And over here we have a problem. We have a machlaikis. Why? Can anybody come up with a good reason? The difference between milk and whey and a date and the honey that comes out of a date. No? Anybody? The way you could come up with enough community. No? You're London. What is the difference? When it comes to milk and whey, and whey you say whey is also because you're using the word milk in it. Milky way, milk way, it's way, way milk, milk way. And now all of a sudden we're saying it's dvash tmarim. Oh, we have a man that says it's motor. Huh? It's already there on top. So maybe that's a little bit like one of the two shot them in the run. He's saying. What he's saying is that you have to do something to get to it. Not bad, not bad. The, the Ran says that whey and milk are both liquids. They're both liquids. So nothing changed in terms of the form. So it's the same. Whey and milk, milk whey. If, as long as you put the word milk, then it's the same. Masha'enkin over here, you have, you have something solid in a date. And you squeeze it. Maybe that's what he's trying to say. You squeeze it and you made... Honey out of it, it's a completely different thing. So if you don't, so just because you use it, you, you call it date honey, honey date, date honey, it's not enough. That's one shot. Another shot is that there are different types of honey. You see here in Israel, it's that's, that's by us, but in those days, they didn't have that word silan. I don't know where that comes from. It actually, it does say over here. Okay. Here, pure date syrup. Say, we, right, right, exactly. The Torah calls it dvash. Exactly, very good. The Torah calls it dvash. We call it silan. But you know, here in Israel, a lot of people buy. I know my wife buys it. I don't know why. She uh, flower honey. I, I guess in America also. I just never really saw it until I got here. So there's different types of honeys. So Melo, you have to add the word tamar to it, not because it's part of the name, just to differentiate between all the types of honeys that you have. You have different honeys. Masha'enkin, with whey, you don't have to add the word milk. So once you add the word milk, that means that it's, it has the halacha of milk. Says the Gemara. Chachamim hainu tainakama. You can go back to the chart, it's fine. It's a little bit of a, it looks confusing, but it really isn't. Let me just, 
There's two categories. If you look in the top, there's Tamarim and Sisvaniyas. We spoke about the dates and the grapes. So we have three, mach- three way machlaikas. The Gemara wants to say, as we asked, the Chachamim who say that the honey that comes out of a date is mutter, and at the end of the mission it says Chacham it should be the same, the same andama. The Gemara says no. What is the difference? There's only one difference. And if you look all the way in the bottom of the chart, two boxes to the left, there's a green, there's a green check over there. And that's a very, very interesting halacha. Listen to this. A person says, I won't eat these sitvanias, these, gra- these grapes. The halacha is, according to this man, Omar, you're permitted to eat the grapes. Remember I asked the Shaila? There's one food. I said, I'm not going to eat sitvanias. You could eat sitvanias. What you cannot eat is the vinegar that comes out of sitvanias. Because like he said, like Glabi said, sitvanias are not edible really. They're, they're, who wants to eat a, a grape that's... That, that's it's not a real grape, you know? See, it's not really there for eating, it's there for vinegar. Oh, so let's just look at the, the machlagis real quickly. What does the guy say? In this whole chart, he's only saying one thing. He's eating this, he says, I'm not going to eat the source. If he, if he says, I'm not going to eat the source, look at this, the center shita, that's the easiest one to see. He says, I'm not going to eat a date, he can't eat the dvash of a date. He says, I'm not going to eat the grape, he can't eat the vinegar. Great. So according to Rehidim Seira, everything is posh. No matter what he says, it includes everything. Tanakama, there's no difference between a date and a sitvani ice, a grape. If you talk about, I'm not going to eat the grape, you're allowed to eat the vinegar. You say, I'm not going to eat the date, you're allowed to, you're allowed to drink, you're allowed to eat the honey. The, what comes out of the date, what comes out of the grape is not included in the grape and in the date. The only difference is the final, the final shita. And he, it's completely different than everybody. Basically, he says, it's Rishim ben Elazar, which are Chachamim. And they say that if you say, I'm not going to eat a date, so you're not allowed to eat the, the dvash, just like Rabbi Yudim The big major chiddush here is that if he says, I'm not going to eat a grape, you're permitted to eat a grape. You can't eat the outcome of the grape, but you're permitted the grape itself. It's huge, huge chiddush. So let's see inside. Says the Gemara, Chacham and Tanakama. Give me a difference between the two shitas, Chacham and Tanakama. Ah, I'll give you a, ma- a, ma- a major, major difference. In both, in both cases, they're different. In the Tamar and in the Sisvani is the different, right? You could see. Look at the top shita when it comes to dates. There's a check mark. You're allowed to eat the honey, and if you look all the way in the bottom, according to the shita, you're not allowed to eat the honey. And now, when you move over to Sisvani, there's also a big difference. According to the Tanakama, you're not allowed to eat the actual grape, but you're permitted in the vinegar. And according to the Chacham, it's the exact opposite. You're permitted to eat the grape because that's not included in his nether. A, a person, normal person, when he says, I'm not going to eat this vanilla, it never means the grape because it's not edible. It's very, very sour. Unless you're one of those kids that likes those sour, you know, like those candies that don't make any sense. Fine. Says Gemara. Chacham, man, Tanakama. There is enough kamina. The final sheet in the Mishnah, the Chacham Matirim, is this, Rav Shem Ben Elazar, that what? If it's something that you eat, and what comes out of it, you eat, it's edible, like these, a date, and the honey are both very edible. Like a date, and the silan, the honey of the date, not our boy, also we If you make a nether in the date, so you're not allowed to eat the honey of it. Neither we eat And if you make a nether against the honey, also boy, you're also not allowed to eat the date itself. So that's a big chiddush. You look at the bottom of the chart. If he makes a nether against this honey, he cannot even eat the date itself. Okay? That's what he's up to. That's one. But it's not the norm to eat this grape because it's so sour. However, what comes out of it, the vinegar, is the derech to eat it. If you say specifically, I won't eat any sitvaniyos, grapes, winter grapes, ain't osir. You're, not, you're, you're permitted to eat the grape. The only thing that's osir is the vinegar. When it comes to the darim, it goes... After the Lashon of Bnei Adam, a person never meant 
to say that he won't eat the actual grape. Who cares about the grape? We care about the, the product of the grape, which is the vinegar. So the Ran says, halacha, we go like the Tanakama, that doesn't matter. Sitvaniyais and tamarim, no matter what. If you say, I won't eat a tamar, I won't eat a sitvan, you're allowed to eat the product that comes out of it. You're allowed to eat the, the dvash, and you're allowed to eat, drink the vinegar. The first sheet, the top sheet, that's the halacha. The Ran just points out, how in the world did I know? Just look at this chart for a second. How do I know that Rab- the, the Gemara says, oh, there's a sheet that calls Rav Shimon Lazar. And either Chachamim, the end of the Mishnah, go like that, or the Tanakama, then the beginning of the Mishnah goes like that. We decided that it's the, the last two words in the Mishnah goes like Rav Shimon Lazar. How do I know that? So the Ran says, because of the Lashon, the Chachamim Matirim. If you look at the chart, what's above the green check all the way in the bottom? Two X's, two no's. So Chachamim Matir, that which Rabbi Yehuda and Seirim Asers and the Tanakama Asers. So now I know that Chachamim go like Rabbi Shimon Lazar. It's not the Tanakama that goes like him, it's the Chachamim. Okay. Says the Gemara. Official Mishnah, a sponsor that we should all have the schut to never give up, stay positive, and keep going forward. Hanoi demin ayayin. Person makes a nether, they won't drink wine. Mutur biyein tapuchim. I don't even know where it is. I don't know if I have a picture or not. Forget it. Oh, here. Yein tapuchim. You see this? Yein tapuchim. No, not apple cider. No. Uh, it's something that doesn't exist, I don't think. Cider, cider. Wine. He said wine. It's a wine that comes out of uh, some alcoholic beverage that comes out of not vinegar, like vinegar, like apple vinegar, but apple wine. I guess it was a big thing in those days. You know, there's the, the famous mice where the guy, the guy called in his kids when he's about to die. He says, listen, we do well with the wine and everything. If the, all the chemicals and everything don't work and you run out of chemicals, you know what you can do? You can actually use grapes once in a while. That's that's what it is. Yay! No, some people use apples instead of instead of uh, grapes. <laughs> Whatever the mishigas is, fine. Says the Gemara. It's not included in his nether. A person says yain wine. He nobody said. You tell your kid go buy uh, wine for, for for Shabbos for for your for for the neighbor for for a gift. He doesn't go and buy apple wine. He buys regular. So it's not included in the nether. Menashemen. Whatever person says oil. Where's that? Oh, here. I just put it it's out of order. Sorry. Min Hashem Mutur b'shemen shum shemen. He's permitted to use shemen shum shemen. Now I just remembered Chaval. I wanted to look it up. The Gemara in Shabbos says, it's probably in Bebem Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the Sugya of Hanukkah, I should have. You can look it up right now. Do me a favor, look it up. It's, it's, it's in the in Daf Chav Gimel. Uh, and that's so good. Not that I remember. Not in the Shasi then, seriously. It's just a famous so good. I'm pretty sure. The Gemara over there says that somebody used to, Rabbah, somebody used to use Shumshum oil. I wanted to look it up. I forgot to look it up. Sorry. Shumshum used to use uh, sesame. This oil right over here for Hanukkah. Tyson says it's Hanukkah. And, and they said, no, it's much better to use. We're talking about Hanukkah now. Mamish. Uh, it's much better to use. Olive oil. And then he lit it. The Gemara says over there, yeah? You got it? You found it? And the Gemara says that, yeah, he's right. It's, it's a brighter, nicer light. Shemen, Shemen Zayis is much better. Okay. So I know there are men. No, I really didn't look it up. I wanted to. I'm not playing this game. I looked it up and I remember pretending. Oh, it's the, I said Chavdal, but it's really Chavgim. I was off by one down. No, it really. What? Chavgim. And who was it? Who was it? <laughs> what? Is a bayit? Yeah. No. Are you sure? Are you sure? Ben Levi. Yeah, Rabbi Shimon Levi. That's. Rabbi Shimon Levi. Call Shimon and call him off in the nerve. Rabbi Shimon Zayis. When I move, I'm a bayit. Reish have a mother. Mar a mishchod the shum shem. In the beginning, used to use sesame seed oil. I think Tosis over there says. Near the Beautiful, perfect. 
Going to Gogol. By the way, if you want to make fun of me, write a Going to Gogol. Seriously, it hurts my feelings. I prefer Hamagachir or Mr. Stefanski. So you want to call me Rev? But Bemis. If somebody wants to insult me from now on, I'm not kidding. Call me Haravagar. You want to insult me? Keep on doing it. <laughs> Listen, I got enough Bizyonis. Anyway, so Ner Hanukkah, we know Shemin Zayis, that's the Gemara, the famous Gemara. Next. So if a person says Shemin, Mutter for Shemin Shum Shemin. Oil, I, I, I make a net that I won't use oil. He does not mean sesame seed oil. He doesn't mean canola oil. He doesn't mean vegetable oil. He means olive oil. Minadvash, and he says, I'm not going to use any honey. Mutter bidvash tmarim. This is mutter right over here. Silan is mutter. Because honey does not mean in Lush and B'nai it doesn't mean silan. Minachaymer, the person says vinegar, what does he mean? Mutter bachaymer sidvanios. He's referring to wine vinegar, not the sidvanios, not the winter grapes. Minachreshin, so that I have a picture of shtickle here. Creation. So I looked it up. But this is based on the, the art scroll. Creation is leak. But he brings there in parentheses Alan Purim, something like that. So here, here's the picture. I went on Google, this is Alan Purim. Because it's very negea to the next word. Motor bikafloitos. What in the world is kafloitos? See, so writes over there, kafloitos is Purim capitum. capitum. I don't know what it is. But here, it looks similar. You type it in in Google, poof, this comes out. They're very similar, but they have a, a larger head. It's different. Different. So Mamela, when a person says leak, he does not mean this wide leak. If your wife sends you to the vegetable store and she tells you, get me leak, and you bring the other one home. Actually, that looks more like the leak that we use today, I think. I'm not a big monk. And leak. Okay, so we have to know this is more for tomorrow. Person says Yerek. So in Hebrew today, modern day Hebrew, Yerakot, greens, means everything. But in the Gemara language, so I did a little bit here. I tried to, it's a little bit of a mess because the green check, if you look closely, there's some green checks over there. They're on the green, so they're not very good. Yarok is green, greens. So for instance, a tomato, a cucumber, which is green, is not a green. It's a, it's a fruit. It's a fruit of the ground. A fruit of the ground is different. In Gemara language, it's called the fruit of the ground. Really? Okay, he's saying he's a mumch in Hebrew. I am not. Yerek is greens. Yerakot is more like the cucumber tomatoes. Fine. So a person says, Minayarok from greens, Muto biyarkus hasada. So you look over here to the right. Sometimes, once in a while, these, call them svichim, whatever you want to call them, they grow by themselves, they pop out of the ground on their own, some sort of interesting uh, vegetable. That's not included in his nether. Again, what's Lashem B'nai Adam in those days? Every, every country, every generation has different words, different things. In those days, when a person said Yarok, he did not include in his nether vegetables that grow in the field. Shu Shem Levai. Okay, it's, some, it's really something from the, from the field, but we use the Yarok as a... As a like a nickname, sort of. Says the Gemara, Tanya, Hanoidim in Hashem in Beretz Yisrael. Oh, so now it depends where you live and what generation you're from. Hanoidim in Hashem in Beretz Yisrael. If you said, I'm, I am not going, going to use oil and you live in Eretz Yisrael, Muta b'shem in Shum Shem in Be'oz b'shem in Zayitz. So what norm, the, nor, the language in Eretz Yisrael, Shem means they had a lot of olive trees here. They exclusively used olive oil. They never used Sesame oil. So in Mela, you're only also in Shemin Zayis, not in Shum Shem. Ube Bavel, but if you live in Iraq, yeah, or in other countries, also B'Shem Shum Shem, and B'Shem Zayis. Most people don't cook with olive oil, let's say. They use canola, I don't know what. So whatever country you live in, it's different. But if it's a country that uses both, like we do today, we use a little olive oil, canola, sesame. Also, bezel, bezel. So you also involve. Asking more pshita, what's the chiddush? Of course, wherever you live, that's. 
Let's say most of the time you use canola, vegetable oil. I don't know what they use today. 90% of the time, once in a while you feel you're in a healthy mood, you use a little olive oil. Now the same laws of Asaruba, you should go with the majority of times that you use or what the country uses. Kamash Malan, Safik Yisur Lechumra. Maybe that's what the guy meant when he made his nether. He meant, he meant for the 10% of the time that he uses the olive oil or the other. Asar. Hanoidim in Ayorok, Bishar Shnei Shavua. If a person says he won't eat uh, greens in six out of the seven years of Shemitah, not on Shemitah. By the way, right now, as we're talking here in Israel, we're, we're making that switch. Most of the vegetables now are considered ready from the eighth year, right? We're already. Not ca- fruits. Not, I said vegetables, not fruits. Fruits is, uh, I just say today. Today, I ate a pamela from Shemitah. In other words, it's taking off somebody's tree down the block. I'm not kidding. Somebody gave me a piece. It's scary. Because one piece fell on the floor. Oh, you have to pick it up. Put it in. Watch it off. Three second rule. And, you put it. and then I took the peel and I threw it in the garbage. My chavrusa went into the garbage, took it out, threw it out the window. So let the birds get it. Okay, kids, are, it's, it's a mess. Not recommended. But vegetables, because they grow so quickly, now we're already pretty much past. Uh, whatever. Look, I'm not, not paskening. But right around now, it's, it's switching, Bar Hashem. Bar Hashem, it's easier now to get vegetables, I guess. Also, we are going to get a good So, no, come on. If you're not in the Shemitah year, and he says, I'm not going to eat any greens, so he's, what he means is typical garden greens. But he's typical garden greens. But he's typical garden greens. He does not include his nether, the wild greens. Now, the Ran just points out, interesting, I wouldn't have known this without the Ran, and I thought I was thinking about it, but if a guy says, so the, the, the mission says there's a difference between different greens. There's a Yerek HaSada, and there's a Yerek HaGina. There's a, it depends what he meant. Usually a person means garden greens. Does a person, when a person says wine, does he care, is Mavusha wine or not Mavusha wine? So the Ran says there's no difference, because it's just, it's the same product. It's just a different way. It's a different way of making. It's the same product. Whereas when it comes to vegetables, it's a big enough kimina where they grew in a, in, a, in a garden and grew in the field. Yeah, it actually, actually seems that it's a different type of vegetable. It's like a different... Fine. But in Shemitah, it's the opposite. Also, because a person doesn't, doesn't plant in, 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 in his garden. doesn't have regular vegetables. So when he says, I'm not going to eat vegetables, he's referring to the ones that are muttered to him, the ones from the field. Oh, so all the ones from the field, the wild ones are also. How does he have Viagras Agina? Whatever happened over there, whatever the, the, the Echetim say, he found something over there, Svichim, whatever it is, fine, different time. Says Rebavo, Da'af Nun Gimel, sponsored by Yankel Cohen, and the official, uh, who happens to be the official MDYMSP, and also the schos being able to support living at Torah and to finish Shas with the rebellion. This whole thing is when you don't, a place that you don't bring in vegetables from Chutz Laaretz. Av Abamokim. Shemivim Yarg Mechutz Laaretz. Aser. But if you, if it's a place that brings in vegetables from Chutz Laaretz, then it's also because you had intent for that vegetable. Kitanoi, so the Gemara says, this is Machalik's Tanoi. It says, mevim yarg min chutz laaretz, laaretz. Are you permitted to bring vegetables from America into Eretz Yisrael? One Tana says, you're not allowed to. Rechanayim ben Gamliel Oymer, mevim yarg min chutz laaretz, laaretz. What's the Machalikas? My time in the man of Omar, a mevim, Omar, Yirmiyah, Mishum, Gush. Here's a picture of a Gush. Sometimes you have on a vegetable, you have a piece of dirt, and the dirt of Chutz Laaretz is Mitama. If you touch dirt from Chutz Laaretz, you can't eat Truma. Why? Because either one shot is we're concerned that the Goyim, they just bury everywhere, and the, and the dirt has in it some fragments of bone. Truma. The Jews, the Goyim, whatever the Pshat is. So the dirt of Chutz Laaretz is Matama. And Memela, I don't want you bringing in vegetables from Chutz Laaretz. You bring vegetables from Chutz Laaretz, it might have some dirt on it. A gush, not a, t- a gush, a piece. And that's a problem. Memela, 
The Tanakhama says, you don't bring in vegetables. So it's not even, he had no intent when he made his nether, I'm not going to eat vegetables. He's never thought about the vegetable from Kutzlars. Because you don't bring it in. You're not allowed to bring it in. All right. I heard once the, uh, there's a Meshgiach in Slabatka, was very unhappy with the uh, Americans in Yeshiva. Like two Americanists, you know, they're doing their things. They're wearing the special uh, gym shoes that they all wear and the, 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 the Lululemon pants and the this and the, 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 the Ozach. So he's, he went and he said, you know, when you have a gush, when you have a clump of people from Chutzlarts, it's metama. I advise that you spread out and you, you acclimate to the yeshiva one by one. What are you staying like a gush? Gush is metama. Okay. Says the Elegant Mishnah. Sponsored. That we should all have a schus to never give up. Stay positive and keep going forward. Minakruv. Person says, I'm not going to eat cabbage anymore. Also bispargus. So when I, when I first, where is it? Oh, here we go. I thought it's asparagus, but the article says it's not asparagus. He doesn't know what it is. It can't be asparagus. So I, I just put here, not asparagus. And it doesn't even have a, doesn't even have an explanation what it is. He says, I'm not, I'm not going into it. He says, I don't know what it is. The says it's a kind of cabbage. It's a kind of cabbage. So this asparagus and cabbage are, I don't know. I don't think they're the same. I don't understand what they're actually saying that it is the same mishpacha. It's not the same mishpacha. Whatever. Okay. Menakruv, also bispargus. It's another type of cabbage. And when he said cabbage, he meant all cabbage. By the way, I'm just throwing this out here now for no, cause just because it's Moses Shabbos. There's something about Brooklyn, New York, that people plant cabbage in front of their house. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know why. I, I asked my friend, why in the world do you have cabbage growing out of your thing? Your whole garden, the whole front yard is two by four feet. That's it. They have one piece of grass that's big, and there's six cabbages on it. Just, just saying, if you've never been to Brooklyn, you don't know what I'm talking about. If yes, yes. Huh? Yeah, that's how it is, right? I'm asking. Huh? It's kale. Okay, kale's included. He says kale, it's whatever it is. Whatever it is, it should be also, it should be illegal. It just doesn't make any sense. But there's a lot of things in New York that don't make sense. Yeah. Oh. Nigel will see that. You want me to read this now? I can't even read. Peers of Haigoin, Min Kruv, Shoy Sunay Sabi Yain. Right, right. There's an odd shot that it's, it's soaked in water, but that's a, that's a problem because then why is it different than whey? But as always, like the going. Yeah. Right. There's another shot. Another, another shot of what this asparagus is. Darcy also brings it. And if a person says, I'm, uh, I'm specifically saying asparagus, then you're allowed to eat cabbage. Everything's out of order here. Sorry. I hope, but what's his name? Doesn't kill me. Yosef. Matsu Shabbos. Okay, Greasin, grits. If a person says grits, Greasin, also be mikpah. So he's also in, how do you say it in English? Pottage. So pottage is like a thicker kind of soup because the in this pottage, in the mikvah, there's a little bit of grits. So that's also. Rabbi Yossi Matar says no. Rabbi Yossi Matar, mina mikvah, mutter be greasin. But if a person says, I'm not going to eat pottage, then he's mutter in greasin. That's not what he meant. Mina mikvah, if a person says, I'm not going to eat pottage, also be shum. Because again, you look at the soup, it probably has some uh, garlic in there. But if a person says, I'm not going to eat garlic, he meant garlic, garlic. He didn't mean a, a whole soup. So that we already had. You remember this? Adoshim are lentils. Ashishim are lentils that are fried with honey. So, when I say adoshim, I mean also ashishim. It's one, one of the same. It's just flavored. It's a little sugar on top. Because the two, two things. It's not called adoshim. It's called ashishim. Min ashishim. But if a person says, I'm not going to eat ashishim, lentils fried with honey, mutter adoshim. He's not talking about adoshim. He's talking about a special food called ashishim. Chita, chitin. Chita is one grain. Chitin is plural. Shani I won't taste. Also, behem, ben bekemach, ben bepas. Ben hapas. Because pas is a loshin yachid. So you can be referring, when you say chita, you're referring to a loaf of bread. Chitin 
is that you're going to take a bunch of these curls and put it in your mouth and start chewing them. You don't chew one, you chew a bunch. So when you say plural, you're talking about chewing grain. If you behave nicely, again, it's one of these things, you, if your kid behaves nicely, give him three pieces of grain, let him, it's a candy, let him chew it. Fine. Those days, I didn't know what they used to do in those days. They had a funny minhagim. Bein chita chitin shani taim. Also behem, bein kama bein apas. Gris, grisin, again, singular and plural. Gris, grit, and grisin, grits, with the S at that. Shani taim, I won't text. Also behem, bein chayin, bein muvushalim. Because one means cooked, and one means uncooked. So therefore, when you say gris, grisin, you get everything in there. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda Rant says, doesn't disagree. He's just explaining. A person says, singular. I won't eat a grit. One grit. A chita, one, one grain. So you're allowed to chew it when it's, it's you're allowed to chew grain and you're allowed to eat uncooked grits. I won't eat a single grain. So you're not allowed to eat bread, but you're allowed to chew, because chewing is plural. He, what, he didn't mean not to chew. If he says plural, so you're not allowed to chew, and you're allowed, you're allowed to have bread. Again, plural and singular. If he says both words together, then you're not allowed to do everything. What the big Kiddush? I don't know. He's just repeating now. Gris shani tayim. He says singular. I won't eat a uh, grit. Also levash lamotelakos because w- singular means cooked, plural means uncooked. So amelo, you're allowed to. You're also to cook, but you're allowed to chew. Grisim shani tayim. Also lakos lamotelavash. Plural. I won't taste. So you're not allowed to chew, but it has nothing to do with cooking. So you're allowed to cook it. Gris, gris, and shani toyim. There's nothing you can do. This is the sugi, Rabbi said. That's it. We're going through all these foods, all the types. Gris, gris, but he stuck everything together. He wanted to be super machmer. Singular and plural. I won't taste. Some of Mela, he's including. Also, ben levashol, ben lokois. Hadron Allah chanoidim in avushol. Hadron Allah chanoidim in avushol. Hadron Allah chanoidim in avushol.